Hey folks, it's Dr. Sam, and I received a question today. How do low magnesium levels affect our eye health? Well, according to the NIH in one of their studies, they found that about 75% of all Americans are deficient in magnesium. So what about our eyes? Well, in 2010, there was a study published in the European Journal of Ophthalmology, and researchers studied the effect on oral magnesium on our retinal circulation and our visual fields. So in the study, they took 30 subjects, 15 of whom received 300 milligrams of oral magnesium for one month, while the other 15 subjects didn't receive the treatment. And the group that received the magnesium treatment scored much higher in terms of their visual fields and their retinal circulation. So they concluded that if you're diagnosed with glaucoma or other retinal vascular diseases, magnesium should be something you should include in your diet. Now I'd like to talk a minute about the relationship between a neurotransmitter called glutamate and magnesium. So when glutamate levels are high in terms of our retinal circulation and our optic nerve, this neurotransmitter can actually cause neurotoxicity and even cell death. And if you have optimal levels of magnesium, it actually blocks the release of glutamate. So this is another reason why you want to have good magnesium levels as a way to prevent neurotoxicity and cell death. So what are some of the causes of magnesium deficiency? Taking antacids, antibiotics, ADHD drugs, corticosteroids, and even blood pressure medications. Now some of my go-to foods would be things like almonds, cashews, coconut yogurt, spinach, wild-caught salmon, and pumpkin seeds. So remember your magnesium as part of your overall strategy in improving your eye health. So that's my message for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Take care.